strive to inform and educate the viewer about technology and technology related topics. Tonight's presentation is going to show you how to convert a VMDK file to a VDI file for use with Proxmox. A VMDK file is a very common format type which is usually used for the creation of VMs. Some very common places where you might see this file is the Metasploitable and BBOX operating systems, which are meant to be vulnerable operating systems for penetration testers to practice their craft and learn how to hack better for the good of their employers and their own networks. But Proxmox does not support the VMDK file and you're unable to use these tools on your Proxmox home virtualization server. If you're like me, you originally got into home virtualization and home lab servers for this exact purpose, learning how to hack and practicing your penetration testings to secure your own networks and that of the companies you work for, or that you potentially will work for if you're a cybersecurity or computer science major. So we will have to convert this file to a VDI file, which Proxmox is able to use. Tonight's presentation, I'm going to show you how to do that. If you watched my BBOX setup video, you'll realize that I was unable to capture this footage during that video, and I wanted to be able to make a separate video for you to see how this process is done and how it worked. The first thing we need to know is the command to do this. We're going to use terminal to do this on a Mac or Linux system. I have never done this on Windows, but I believe you would use the CMD command prompt. The command is vbox manage clone media disk, and then you're going to put the path to the VMDK file with a space, and then the path to your new file followed by dot VDI and space dash dash format space all capital VDI. This will tell VBOX to convert this media from the VMDK file to the VDI file. You will need VBOX installed on your system to have this tool. So let's go over to a screen capture that I did a few days ago when I was creating a Metasploitable 2 VM for another purpose. So I brought over my VBOX that I opened and we're going to need to add the VMDK file into VBOX. So the first thing we're going to do to do that is to open the Create New VM Manager and we're just going to start the process just like we would normally for creating a VM. I'm giving little concern to resources and other things because we'll deal with that later. Now you see I clicked the Use Disk Image and now I'm clicking Add. Now I'm going to navigate to where the VMDK file is stored, select it, and add this. Now choose it and move on with the creation process. We have now added the VMDK to the VM repository of VBOX. Now let's go to our terminal window and start entering the command I showed you in the previous slide. Now I hit paste here to get the path. 
And then I'll just hit paste again because I'm looking to go into the same folder. But watch, I'll change the VMDK to VDI. Now I'm going to add the dash dash format space capital VDI and press enter. Now as you can see, the VDI file showed up in the folder above. This is all you need to do to convert a VMDK file to a VDI file. As always, I hope you enjoyed tonight's presentation and you found the information in this presentation useful. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. This helps us get closer to our goal of 1,000 subscribers. Have a good night.